Connecting Communications Cables In this video, you will learn how to connect communications cables. Interface Cable Requirements Data cables must be fully shielded and fitted with metal or metallized connector shells to minimize electrical noise pickup in the cable. Keep data cables as short as possible. The recommended cable length is 6 feet 1.83 meters. Do not tightly bundle the data cables with power cords. Do not tie the data cables to power wire conduits. You must insert the power supply barrel connector into the power supply receptacle on the back of the printer before connecting or disconnecting the communications cables. Ensure the printer is off. Leave the printer and the power supply connected to the power source to provide proper grounding. Turn off the power to the power supply, connecting via USB. You must supply the required interface cable for your application. USB version 2 compatible with PC hardware. The plug and play design makes the installation easy. Multiple printers can share a single universal serial bus, USB, port or hub. The printer is a terminal device when using a USB interface. You can refer to the USB specification details regarding this interface. Connect a USB cable to the printer and to the computer. Connecting via serial. You must supply the required interface cable for your application. The required RS-232, serial, compatible cable must have a DB9P male connector to plug into the printer serial port. The other end of the cable connects to the host computer. The printer is designed to accept a DTE null modem cable, crossover, or a DCE cable, no crossover, straight through signals. To see serial cable pinout information read the user's manual. Connect a serial cable to the printer and to the computer. Tighten the thumb screws to lock the cable in place. Connecting via parallel. You must supply the required interface cable for your application. Use a standard Centronics type parallel cable, IEEEAB compliant. To see parallel cable pinout information read the user's manual. Connect a parallel cable to the printer and to the computer. Move the two bail locks to the side of the Centronics connector body to lock the cable in place. Connecting via LAN, local area network. You must supply the required interface cable for your application. The printer requires a UTP RJ45 Ethernet cable rated CAT5 or higher. Refer to the Zebra Net Print Server Guide for more information on installing the printer on a network. Connect the network cable to the printer and to the computer or network. 